right. Hello. We are here with Interim Chief Lawler, and we are going to be talking about Police Week. So what does Police Week mean to you? Well, National Police Week um, means a lot of different things, but most importantly, um, the reason we come together is to acknowledge the sacrifices of um, our law enforcement <clears throat> colleagues, not just the ones who've been, who made that sacrifice in the last year, but the ones who've made that sacrifice in the past. Unfortunately, there's over 23,000 names on the wall in D.C., and, and more will go on this year. But while we remember their sacrifice every day um, in our own way, coming together as a group for Police Week, um, we put the extra effort into acknowledging those sacrifices, um, to joining together with our colleagues, not just from our own department, from, but from departments around the country, and, and making sure that we give them the respect and, and acknowledge those sacrifices that they made. We're very fortunate because our community is supportive of, of us. Um, this week, there will be um, moments where the public will acknowledge their appreciation for us. They know it's police week. Um, they know what we're doing to acknowledge our colleagues, but we'll see acts of kindness and support from our community. So it's, it's a wonderful week for a number of different reasons, but most importantly, just to remember our colleagues um, who have fallen in the line of duty and making sure that we carry on their legacy and, and their sacrifice will always be remembered. And do you have any memories that you would like to share about Sergeant Connor? I do. I can tell you um, I'd only been here three weeks when Sergeant Connor was killed, but I got to spend an hour and a half with him the night he was killed. Um, it was really the first chance I'd had to get to know him. Um, I hadn't yet been to the police academy. Um, he was very kind and reassuring. I was a little nervous about what the police academy might entail, but um, he gave me an idea what to expect. Uh, he, I kept calling him sir, and he told me, he said, you know, if the chief's not around, you don't have to call me sir. <laughs> he said, but if the chief's around, I, I get it, you have to. He was very unassuming like that, um, and I was very grateful just to be able to spend some time with him that night. Obviously, I didn't have any idea what was about to happen, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, I am grateful for uh, just that little bit of time I got to spend with him. Um, and when I see his picture or I see his name on the building, um, I think about that, that hour and a half that I got to spend with him the night he was killed. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's, that's great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you.